been a long time since I posted a vlog, but I'm here. Um, first, I guess, um, I got a Facebook or a YouTube comment on an old video um, of my Tan Solar CD unwrapping. Um, link here if you want to go see that. Um, but someone recently posted a comment, Ogden. I don't know who you are exactly, Ogden, but you posted a comment and you said you were wondering if I was wearing makeup. And I said no, but that I would wear makeup in my next video. And I'm wearing only a little, um, just powder and mascara. Um, I don't really wear a lot of makeup in general. I don't really like makeup, generally speaking. I wear it only when I'm going out on a date or if I'm going to a wedding or something like that. I don't wear it to work hardly ever. Um, if I do, my students freak out and <laughs> feel like a superstar. Also, I got a haircut and I got bangs. Um, my actual hair doesn't, didn't really get any shorter, just the same length here, but I got bangs. Um, tell me what you think in the comments section. Are they good? Do they work for me? Um, I like them. But I'm actually thinking about getting some more Korean style bangs, which would be like the flat, just like, like this, but kind of with a tooth. Um, before I style these every morning, I kind of get an idea of what that would look like when my bangs are kind of down. And not like that. That, that looks crazy. But it's actually really pretty, I think. And so I'm going to maybe give it a try. I'm undecided. But anyways, so I got a haircut. I wanted to show it to you guys. And also, um, kind of my interesting story is tonight, earlier this evening, it's about 8 o'clock now, earlier this evening I had my first experience at a Korean traditional doctor. And uh, it's called a Hanwi Sa. A traditional Korean doctor and they specialize in kind of traditional healing methods uh, particularly like herbal based uh, medicines both pills they do like pill standard pills tablets medicine they also do a lot of like drinks like teas and stuff and they also do a lot of acupuncture there and um, the reason I went is to lose a little weight, not a lot, just a little, and um, I went in and my co-teacher went with me and she said that they have inter foreign clients and stuff so it would be fine. So I went in and she kind of got me set up with the receptionist lady and then I went into my consultation with the doctor and when I met the doctor, it turns out he doesn't really speak English. And he, as soon as I walked in, he just told me to sit down in Korean. And obviously I know sit down. I tell my students that all the time. And so I sat down and he asked me, are you a teacher? And I said, yes, I'm a teacher. And then right off the bat, I said, I don't speak Korean well. And he said, oh, it's okay in Korean. And I was like, okay, I'm sure it's going to be okay. So I was a little nervous. But it ended up working out okay. Um, I wanted to lose weight, a little bit of weight. And he told me what my weight was now. and Or he didn't tell me what my weight was now. And I didn't know because I haven't weighed myself. Additionally, he's thinking kilograms, and I'm from America, so I only use pounds. And so I wasn't really sure um, what my kilogram weight was. I hardly know my pound weight anymore, but... I definitely don't know kilograms. And so I was hoping he would tell me, but he didn't off the bat. And he asked me what like my goal, weight goal was. And I was I had no clue because I only knew, you know, maybe I could lose like six kilos, which is about 12 pounds. That would be like my maximum. And so I was like, uh, I don't know exactly. So I asked him what my weight was now. And so he told me, 
And I just said to him, you know, six kilos. I want to lose six kilos. But I said it in English. And six kilos. And he thought I said that my goal weight was 60 kilos. And for those of you who don't know how much 60 kilos is, that's for my American people. 60 kilos is 2.2 pounds to a kilo. 120. 132 pounds or so. And you don't know this, but I'm six foot two. I'm a hundred six one, six two. I'm 186 and a half centimeters. So I'm really, really, really tall. And if I was 132 pounds, I would be on a catwalk somewhere. I mean, that would be very, very skinny for someone as tremendously tall as I am. And but he, so he, when I said 60, 6, or 6 kilos, he thought I said 60 kilos was my goal weight. And he was like, well, I'm not sure that that's a good idea. And at first I was a little confused. I thought, well, 6 kilos, I mean, it's a decent amount of weight, but it's not unheard of. I mean, I'm not fat, but... Just a little bit of weight. Six kilo, six kilos is doable. And then he was like, you're 60, he said 60 kilos is, for your height, very, very, very small weight. And I thought, oh, he thinks that I'm like crazy and I want to lose a whole crap ton of weight. Like, if I were to go down to 60 kilos, I'm not telling you how much I weigh, but if I were to go down to 60 kilos, I would lose um, somewhere in the ballpark of about 30 pounds. If I dropped 30 pounds, I would be really skinny. And he was like, I don't know if that's a good idea. If you sh You're not obese. You shouldn't shoot for losing that much weight. And I was like, I'm, I don't mean 60. I mean, I want to lose 6 kilos. Total 6, not 60 and I want to be not 60 kilos. And it was really strange, but funny. And he was like, ah. And then we continued having a conversation, and the rest of the conversation was entirely in Korean. And I was really proud of myself because I was able to understand and follow pretty much the whole conversation. And so he told me that there would be, a, like, a T, and um, that... Also, I could do acupuncture, and I don't have to do acupuncture, but I figured I would try it because I've never had acupuncture ever, and so I was like, okay, I'll do acupuncture. It's not expensive to do acupuncture here, and so it's only 30 minutes, and so I was like, yeah, I'll do acupuncture today, and he was like, great, and so he just sent me to this other room, and at that room, there was like an assistant or like a technician, and she had me go into kind of like a just curtained off room with a bed and she had me lay down and I just had to pull my sweater and shirt up just to below my chest just to, to show my stomach and I was a little surprised because I always thought that acupuncture like if I'm having like back pain I get acupuncture like in my like palm and on my like on my neck or something you know like in totally unrelated to the problem issue but it was on my stomach which I thought was kind of interesting and so she I just laid down and she kind of pulled the machine over and called the doctor and the doctor came in same doctor and he was like it's not going to hurt which I had heard that it doesn't hurt and I wasn't particularly afraid but I didn't know what to expect and he puts the needles in and I don't really know like the procedure like and I couldn't watch it because I'm laying down and I can't, I don't want to like pick my head up or like flex my abs for in case it throws anything off. And so I'm just laying there and I can feel him as he, he's putting like the needles in my stomach and in my skin, but it's not painful at all. It's not like a shot. Like I had expected it to be like a shot, which for me doesn't really hurt. It's just a little uncomfortable, but I hardly felt anything at all. Like it felt a little bit like I could tell that there was a needle and that he it seemed like he just went like that, like tapped on top of it to like put it in my, in my stomach. But it was not painful at all. It didn't feel like anyone was poking me or anything. I just felt kind of like the sensation of someone like tapping. 
but not actually me. Like, it's not like someone was tapping my skin. It was something that was then, like, reverberating to tap on me. But anyways, um, so he put in, I guess, 10 or 12 needles. I'm not sure. I know it was an even number because after he um, did the needles, or after he put the needles in, he pulled these, um, like, clamps. And the clamps are connected to the machine, and there's, like, cords, different color cords. And I can't remember if it was five or six. And at the end, there are, like, two separate, like, clippy things. And so he could just, like, clamps each clamp to a different needle. And then he turns the machine on. And I had no idea that this was part of acupuncture. Because when you see it on TV or you, like, hear about it or you think about it, at least for me, you just think of, um, like, just regular just a needle and you just sit there and I don't know what happens you just wait but they actually turn on some sort of thing and it like vibrates for a little while and he it increases the intensity and he says to me as he's increasing it he says if it begins to hurt or when it begins to hurt in Korean it's ambiguous um he just said if or when apusuman apusuyan like, if it hurts, when it hurts, tell me. And so he turned up the intensity, and I could feel it, like, just vibrating in my abdomen. And I thought, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt. And then I just, it, like, he increased it just enough, and I felt just a little tinge of pain. It felt very similar to when I got my ankle tattooed, and just, like, a little pin was pricking me. And when you when I got my ankle tattooed, it really was not painful. It was just... Um, a little grating and it was vi a vibration similar to what the acupuncture felt like and so I told him oh it, it hurts a little now just a little and so he turned the dial down just a little to get me just all like almost to my pain like the pain point but just below it and so then he walked out and I just sat there for 20 minutes and it vibrated and then the machine just turned off after a time amount and it beeped and the technician lady came in and she unclipped everything and took the needles out and she was like, you're done. And I just walked out and I paid and that was it. And it was really simple and painless and pretty easy. So that was good. Um, it was interesting. Um, so I'm supposed to go back once or two to three times a week. But I'm not sure I can make it twice a week with my busy schedule. But that was my experience at the acupuncture at the traditional Korean doctor. I have to go pick up my medicine tomorrow, my tea. Um, but for now, I'm having my last pre-diet dinner of fried chicken. I just got it delivered. It came in this really cute little box. So there's my bag of fried chicken. I'll see you guys later. Bye.